Hey, love bucks, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family, just thank you so much for the love and support. Um, you're dropping lines. Our community is growing faster by the day and it's truly a blessing. We can all connect in one way or another so with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already please like and subscribe even hit that notification bell so you know when your girl's about to upload her next video also if you're comfortable enough please drop me a line or two i love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video or you're just up telling me about your empathic gift how it impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction also if you um if you feel like the videos are being very informative to you as well as um giving you good vibes you would love to share with a loved one family or friend or even a fellow empath that are going through some really trying times right now and um need confirmation or validation towards their life path or even soul purpose please go ahead and share and while you're at it give me a thumbs up like and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit thank you once again for the love and support it's so greatly appreciated and i hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video and um let me see and the meditation music I'm listening to in the background is called 528 Hertz DNA Repair While You Sleep, Solar Plexus Chakra Healing Deep Meditation 444 Hertz, you know that 444. Um, I will place that link in the description box below. And today my video is about Twin Flame 101. Uh, when universe starts breaking, breaking up friendships and relationships you know it's like uh, when we went through um, you know spiritual awakening we're heading down that road of self-discovery coming into ourselves you know it can be really scary at times um, that when you uh, you know you feel like when you start this journey you had all the support you had you know friends that you can sit there and talk to you know y'all voice your opinions you cheer each other up or you know you just needing something someone to vent and um you know talk to, you know vent and you know talk to when you you know your times of need but it's like when we start this you know this journey it can be very confusing at times and it's just like when I know when I first started mine you know I had people in my life that you know I've, I've been friends with them for years you know close family friends that I grew up with you know um, when my my uh, mom's ex-husband was in the military you know a lot of people I, you know I stayed friends with for a long time but after let me turn this down a little bit after going through my um you know, a spiritual awakening as well as finding out who my father was. I lost a lot of friends. Um, I didn't get the support that I needed. You know, a family that, you know, I knew as family, I no longer talked to, you know, because I didn't know who knew about my situation. What were they hiding? Is there anything that, you know, you know I needed to know, but you just chose not to tell me just because of who my father was. So it was like when we start this journey, you know, there's going to be a lot of people that is going to exit our lives you know there's universe allows us to be able to turn our back it was just like what about a month ago i did a video about you know god changes your circle to change your life and it's true you know a lot of times it can hurt you know i was with my ex for almost 20 almost close to 21 years like you know i'm 42 so i mean i was i was with him you know since i was around in my my early early 20s so it's like we grew up together and you know I never thought you know we would ever break up you know that was a hard hard situation but it's like I seen the red flags there and I just chose to ignore them saying you know why I'm healing myself you know I'll help him heal and you know eventually he'll change you know and it was like my friends and family were like you really need to leave him alone you know they see all the red flags popping off you see you know, he does this to other females as well as you. You know, all these different things was coming up. And, you know, that broke my heart because it's like right when I found out who my family was, even though I had hints, you know, but it was like it was, you know, it was shunned away or I could never talk about it. But, you know, things really hit the fan after my, my father left. And it was just like when I needed people the most, 
you know, they they were there for that moment, but it became too much for them or they didn't want to know that because it was like people I would never think that had an attitude towards me or, you know, would act a certain way about me, end up turning their back on me so fast. And it was just like I went to the universe asking, why do I have to go through this? These are people I grew up with, you know, why do I feel like I'm in this alone? Even though I wasn't really in this alone, you know, it's, it's like really hard for losing, a, you know, any loved one. But it's like when you're, it's your parent and then it's a parent that, you know, you've had chances to, to meet them and connect with them. But it was always on some kind of deception. That was like, I would not wish that on my worst enemy. I wouldn't. I mean, there's days that I still cry about that because it still feels so real. It's like, I'm not angry. It's like more of disappointment because it's like, you know, I really helped my adopted father um, at high standards. I never thought, you know, he used to spoil me when I was little. But then there was a lot of things that, you know, if somebody stood in that way of that, he didn't want that to happen. You know, especially when my dad, my, my real dad. Uh, you know, got in communication with me. He was very bitter about that. Anytime my dad has ever bought me anything, he bought me like my first dollhouse, like one of those expensive ones. If you're like around my, my age, you were born in the 70s. You know, back in the day, in the early 80s and stuff, we all had them JCPenney catalogs. They used to come to the house. I used to get them back in the day. He used to exit everything I wanted out of the bed. I'm like, oh, I want this. I want that. I want this. And, you know, with me being the youngest person, because my mom had two other children from our previous marriage, but they adopted me, you know, after, I guess it's like 15 or 20 years after they were married. So it was just like my dad, Prince, he, you know, he used to buy me stuff and yeah, I would be able to have it for a brief moment. And all of a sudden it mysteriously got broken, something caught, caught on fire or, you know, somebody stole it. It was always something, you know, my mom used to get very upset about that. So it was just like all the things that I have endured as a child, you know, going through this has been the hardest thing for me because it's like, you know, you were all, you know, there's people always imagining what would it be like if I was a celebrity? What would it be like if I was famous? You know, I would love to do that. And it's just actually, you know, I'm not either one of those things, but it's just my father. I don't consider myself as being anything like that. You know, some people looked at me like that. Some people hated me for that. You know, and it's not a fun situation, especially if it's people that you held to high standards and, um, you know, wanted them to be in your life, wanted them to be on this journey with you. And it's just like, you know, I tell people all the time, you know, a lot of times we end up hurting ourselves because we put these uh, lifetime expectation on seasonal people. It's like people are in and out of our lives for a reason. They're supposed to be there for that certain time. And, you know, they learn off of you, you learn off of them and they part ways. And it can be a very hurtful situation. But it's like when you're going somewhere and I have, to, have been having to tell myself this for a long time, you're not going to start having friends of uh, the same where you where you end because you're not the same person as you were when you first started this situation. It can be a very lonely road. You know, there's a lot of times we are by ourselves, you know, but we still have our spiritual guides, you know, our ancestors, the ancient ones, we still have those, but in the physical, it can ver get very lonely. But it's just like, you know, I have to tell myself, the people are, you know, the people that are walking out of our lives, it's like, they can mess up our abundance. They can mess up our blessings. They can block our blessings. You know, because some people don't want to see that for you. A lot of people didn't want to see that for me. You know, people would, it, I was used like a science project. It was like people, that all of a sudden they start hearing word from mouth, word from mouth. And all of a sudden it's like people that I held dear to me ignored me for a long time until they heard, oh gosh, you know, Rosalind's is such and such child and all this stuff. And people wanted to start giving me friend requests just so they can, you know, go through my little photo albums, take what they need to take and, you know, block me after that. I'm just like, oh, I went through very crazy stuff like that. Or people held close to me because they, they love my dad. Well, and I was closest thing to him. So there was a lot of people that, you know, verbally and mentally abused me, but they tend to look at me in an awkward way because it was my dad, but they already felt like, okay, I want to hang around her. I'm going to treat her like shit, <laughs> but I still want her to hang around with me because who, whose child she is. So I had to break free from a lot of the, you know, the, the things that I've been, you know, that has been placed upon my life. And it, it's like, you know, I can tell people, you know, if you have family members and, you know, it's like y'all are not talking over petty situations, don't allow that to be 
keep y'all from each other. You know, if it's something serious, then I understand. You know, you should never hang or be around with anybody that makes you constantly stay at a low vibration. You should never be around somebody that you have to constantly watch what you say. You know, because a lot of people, they'll hear what you say and, you know, want you to be, oh, you can tell me about anything. And while you're doing that, they're trying to block everything that's coming forth to you. So you have to be very mindful of the things that you put out there. You know, I've learned a lot through this experience and it's made me a lot stronger than I ever thought I could. It's been a very lonely road for me, but I felt like, you know, I, I admire the situations that I've been in. I appreciate those situations, even when they, they turned out to be bad because I learned a lot from them. You know, a lot of things, you you know, you would want to scream to the mountaintop that you're happy about. But sometimes you have to be able to keep that to yourself. Because it's like, you know, people that I held close to me. You know, it, it, there's sometimes I can just think about my mom's ex-husband and his wife. And just knowing that they did that. But it was like the ship didn't really sink until after my mom died. That's when they really tried to put me through hell. You know, because they knew, you know, everybody that knew about my situation is no longer living. So they wanted to go ahead and run with that. So it, it, it's, it took a long time to be able to get through that, you know, and it's just like, I don't even have anger. It's just more of a disappointment that you would ever use a child, you know, for, you know, your personal ATM, you know, use it as a pawn. And it was just like going through this situation has taught me a lot, being blessed to be able to make these videos from my prior experience or things that I'm currently going through to be able to help others know that you know yeah we go through things but you know when we're heading towards this road universe will block us from a lot of people you know it can be very painful and you have to be able to look at this you you a lot of those people that they took out of your life it, they, they, they can be very damaging to your your uh blessings so you have to be able to be grateful for those times that you did share. There's a lot of people I, I reminisce about. And I'm just like, well, you know, I did have good times with them. But obviously, you know, universe didn't see it fit for me to be able to still deal with people like that. So I have to be able to chuck it <laughs> as a loss and take it for what it's worth to know the things that I've learned. You know, a lot of the things that have, I've experienced, you know, through this situation has really been traumatizing if I can put it that way it's been very traumatizing and you know the low blow is just like you know my mom told me I was gonna go through hell and high water about this you know before my mom got really sick and she's like there's gonna be things that you're gonna learn about that a lot of people are not gonna like there's gonna be people that's jealous of you and you know they will try to hurt you in any kind of way you know just to keep that truth out and you know my mom always just said you know there's gonna be some very dirty dirty unclean things that you're going to find out but just know that I wanted you to know your family just know that and I you know I never really understood why my mom couldn't really tell me because I guess it's just the fact that she didn't have the proof and she knew she would have had to show me the proof for me to believe that but then there was a lot of things that you know transpired with my life that connects to this you know having this uh you know a uh, connection with my dad you know is a beautiful blessing even though things has happened the way it happened I never had a you know connection back with my dad but just the, you know there's days that I cry and I'm grateful for the fact that even when he tried so desperately to be there that he was spiritually there for me you know I would constantly end up singing songs that he puts in my head I'm like why all of a sudden I'm singing this then you know it, it's it's like you know I go through my sorrow but just knowing what my dad went through it breaks my heart you know because it's just like he was a very beautiful person and you know people have done things that you know they're not proud of you know there's you know women that you know didn't have all the great things to say about my dad but there's a lot of other women as well as other people that said how my dad has influenced them in many ways that they never knew a person could do that you know he's very powerful and magical to me you know he was like an angel on earth um, you know, people were, you know, said not so nice things about him to me, but he never allowed me to see that part of him. You know, he didn't have walls up when we talked, you know, and there's other people that he was very secretive with. And it was like, you know, they're, they're like, are you sure you're talk talking about the same prince? So like, yeah, I mean, he wasn't like that with me. So it, it's just being able to experience those things. That, you know, I always hold those dear to my heart. And, you know, just being able to still continue and try to, you know, live out through, through his legacy is, 
you know, something I, I will always cherish. And it's just like going through these situations, you will tend to learn things that are not going to be so pretty. You know, when we go through these spiritual awakenings, it can really put us in a bad mental state. But you have to know these are for your, your better good. You know, there's a lot of times we can have people in our life that can be really damaging. And it's just, you know, if they were meant to be there, they would be there. You know, but if the universe is trying to block you all the way around, obviously they know that that's not the people that need to be hanging out with you. And it will gravitate towards people that, you know, will uplift you blessed you in so many ways so you know when god tries to tear you apart from that you know no matter how hard it is you need to walk away you know i woke up this morning listened to td jakes it was like playing as soon as i woke up and you know and i i woke up with a smile on my face you know i don't know what the heck i dreamt about last night but uh just being able to hear that you know basically saying you know when people walk out your life or people choose to leave you need to let them go you know it, it, there's a reason for everything that happens to you and you know and it will bring a higher purpose towards all the mishaps that happen in your life so I hope everybody enjoyed their 4th of July I surely did because I slept all that day because <laughs> I did a lot of channeling and stuff throughout the week so you know I needed that that rest of self-care so I'm going to give a post notification shout out to Bizel. much love to you and welcome to our our family um, you know just let me know if you resonate with this video no better things are coming for you you know there's days that you you might feel alone but know that you are never alone so let drop me a line let me know if you resonate give me a thumbs up like even share subscribe hit that notification bell you know know that you are truly blessed highly favored and forever loved and knowing there's always somebody out there praying for your better days I pray for y'all each and every day and I hope all the things you're thriving for comes to blossom into your life and send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can you never know your kind words can really take somebody a long way and i'll see you on my next video much love peace